welcome back to my new Let's Play. I am, as always, Crotta Lightblade, and with me today is a new friend. Night Blue. <laughs> this is, in fact, my roommate. He was the one who did my uh, the art for my previous video for Cataclysm, and he's decided to sit with me for this game, and we're going to see if we can survive another zombie apocalypse, apparently. This game is Zafe House Diaries, as you can see on your screen. It is a game created by Screwfly Studios, a two-man studio from Australia, and it seems to want to focus more on the human element of a zombie apocalypse. So we're going to give this a try, and we're going to see how it works out. We're going to start a new game. I have only just now purchased this game. I've never played it before, never touched it before, never even seen it before, so this ought to be interesting. Starting a new game. We're going to start on the easy mode, called No Survivors. This basically lasts until everyone dies, from as far as I can tell. There's also a roadkill mode, where we try to repair a damaged vehicle and escape in it. That will be our win condition. And there's Deadline, which is lasting a week, and people die, apparently. So we're going to go with No Survivors for now, and we'll see how it goes. We hit Start Game now. Confirm that it is, in fact, still recording. Ah, we may have to put in a cut here. One moment. And we're back. You haven't missed anything. It just swapped the window, so I had to swap over to the, well, new window for the recording. This is the opening screen. Let's see. We are currently Thursday, June 26th at 6 o'clock in the morning. We apparently are in a house at 10 Victor Drive. Looks like a nice little place, doesn't it? see the end of the line everyone else is gone the town is quiet but it won't stay that way if we find a flashlight or a beacon we could signal other survivors without attracting zombies there's an address scrolled on the wall might make a good place to start looking but we need to move fast um let me see here oh i see okay looks like we have we can just move over to the map over here we are apparently todd l right now okay this looks like the little map of our town Right now we're here, I guess, because right. uh, he's got the little blue chip. Yeah. That's here. This is the house we are currently standing at, 10 Victor Drive. We've searched 57% of the house. There are no zombies, no corpses. Todd isn't doing anything right now. These are, I guess, the things Todd can do. Okay. Uh, make traps, search location for anything useful, modify an item, focusing on any capability, create a distraction by making noise, Barricade entrances quickly and loudly. Patrol outside and report back. Watch for zombies and report. Snipe zombies around this location or things that we can't do yet. Create a distraction by making noise. Does it just mean he's bad at sneaking? I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Let's>, a skill? <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> so let's click on Todd real quick and see what he's good at. Oh, this looks like a tutorial. We have had a couple of these pop up while I was doing my testing. Uh, left clicking on him, relationship view, okay. Um, so we don't have any relationships right now because we have no other survivors. So we right click instead. He is a firefighter, look at that. Uh, he is 31, straight, and has a high school education and comes from a middle class background. He's experienced and stable, practical and realistic, and is most useful preparing meals cleaning up corpses, patrolling outside, and creating a distraction. He claims he isn't racist, he just doesn't like the look of some people. Oh, goody. <laughs> we are a dick. <laughs> we know nothing of Todd's past. I like that his biography he has experience cleaning up, you know, cleaning up corpses. Like, but he isn't uh, racist. But he isn't racist, no. <laughs> he just cleans cor corpses, apparently. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I want to know here. Well, <laughs> looks like this is a possible survivor location over here. Okay, we can also add our own symbols and notes to locations. So we could say, for example, oh, that's neat. We can add notes and whatnot and mark spots so we could like have a don't go here marker. Awesome. Um, what I don't know is how we find out what Todd is good at. Because, okay. Uh, go, let's see here. Doesn't really tell us what he's good at, but he's a firefighter, so... And he's well-rested, apparently. Supplies. Supplies list. This tells us what supplies are currently available here. 
If we're in desperate need of barricade parts to secure a location or scrap to modify items, we can break things down if we absolutely have to. Um, let's see here. Okay. So, go to supplies. We have a handgun! Okay. With uh, six rounds. That That's totally enough. Yes. Totally enough. Take on the entire zombie apocalypse with that. Oh, yes. We Just have... Run outside. Just... Ah! <laughs> we have six pieces of scrap, a chess set, we can play chess with people, a crowbar, which, let's face it, is always the most handy thing, mm. and a flashlight. We also have a bandage and five snacks. Okay. So what do you think? Should we stick around here or should we move out? Well, it would get boring if we stuck around here for too long. That's actually very true. So let's click on some things and see what happens when we click on something. That's a store. Okay, we have not been here yet. That's another store. A factory. A store. Wow, we're in like a little merchant district or something. Another factory. Okay, so I guess these little symbols here are stores. Right. These are factories. That's the police station. Probably find guns there, but probably also find lots of zombies. Probably. A diner. Kind of a cliche. So if we need food. A church where we can definitely find all of the zombies. And we can find God. Yes. And with the zombies. Yes. <clears throat> Apparently they're very religious. Yes. A uh, hospital for medical supplies and even more zombies. Yes. <laughs> a museum. A school for little baby zombies. Oh, yeah. A university for drunken co-ed zombies. Mm. Uh, warehouse, warehouse for storage zombies, a bar for very drunk zombies, and a bank for rich zombies. I'm just assuming there are zombies. Uh, plenty I think of we houses. Should, I think we should go to the college. And zombies gone wild. Like, take your shirt off. <laughs> no, no, put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> Okay, this is how we move. Okay. Ah, okay. I pick up the chip, and I put it somewhere. So, let's see. I think we should probably hold off on the co-ed zombies. Probably, it's a little bit of a... Yeah. But... A little out of the way at the moment. Looking at this house, it's not secured yet. It's got ten unsecured entrances, I guess. Ah. But it's got a sniper nest and a watchtower? Is that what I'm reading here? Oh. Seems that way. It's got 34 pieces of furniture, 12 traps, no outdoor traps, no barricades. Right. Sorry if you can hear the truck outside. <laughs> usually Garbage I leave the yeah, usually I leave the windows shut, but uh, it's been a little warm here lately. So let's see. This is the place that has possible survivor locations, and it's already marked. But I don't want to quite run there yet. Yeah, I probably want to secure some areas along the way. If we have to. Uh, I'm thinking... Why don't we search the location, see if we can find in the house real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, apparently Todd has three stars at searching. Well, there. Okay. And then we can click down here, I guess, to... Oh, we can click over here. Yes, okay, these are bookmarks, I guess, for bookmarking locations and whatnot. This is the diary, I assume, that the game is named after. Right. This is the... Oh, this lets us run through an hour. Okay. Nice. Okay, apparently there were plenty of snacks laying around. And let's see. He found four snacks and then three more snacks. Okay. There was also two showers in the house, and half of the rooms in the house have now been searched. I love snacks brand snacks. Yes, yes. They're, they're definitely the best kind of snacks. They're they're better than, than yummy snacks. They're just snacks. Just snack brand snacks. They're snackers. not as good as tasty snacks, though. S snack brand snacks, snacks, just snackers. Yes. <laughs> Much like beer brand beer. <laughs> or triple X beer, which is the sexiest of beer. Mm. Uh, but you can't really verb beer. I mean, because beer is not a verb. That's true. Whereas snack can be turned into a verb. That's true. We can snack on the snacks, but we can't beer the beer. That's true. That's very true. Let's see. Does not look like we're going to find... I mean, we could keep searching the house, but... I think we definitely need more than just Todd. Mm -hmm. So I think it's probably a good idea if we just run down the street and hope that zombies don't kill us on the way. Alright, man.
Because Dead Game wants us to go here, so we yeah. should at least check it out. Yeah. Oh, well, sounds see good. Here. Movement tutorial. He's created a new order at the survivor's origin and the task list on the clipboard. By default, he will investigate the location and then return to their origin. To assault or breach those location instead, order the survivor to take items with them, investigate. Le okay. So, I can click here again, investigate the house. Click on this. What are we? What will we take with us? I think we should take the gun. No, let's leave that behind. That's too heavy. <laughs> gun and ammo can come. Snacks. With us. All of the snacks. <laughs> all right, we'll take all of the snacks. No gun. All of the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> See zombies just throw snacks at them. <laughs> hopefully, they're, hopefully they're like stale or something because they're hard. You know. <laughs> yes, this is the best idea ever. I am going to take a crowbar, however. That pretty much looks like it brings us up to our maximum amount of weight. I... Wow, the gun actually is heavy. Hmm, come to think of it, maybe we don't even need the gun right now because we have a crowbar and that can whack people. Yeah, yeah. So let's just use the crowbar. We don't need a gun. Leave the gun at home. And we have six snacks and a crowbar. Awesome. And a flashlight. Just don't confuse the two. But but I, I want to eat the crowbar. It's yummier than anything else. Okay, save that loadout. Because this is a basic loadout. I don't know why we're bringing so many snacks, but just in case we get really hungry on that two blocks of walking. Yes. Okay. Let's... Well, you know, in zombie apocalypse, two blocks of walking can become three months of hold up in a house. This is true. <laughs> this is true. House, two bison, ten bison place. Let's see. The house at 10 Bison Place is a small building with around 8 rooms in it. It has one door and 10 windows leading in from the outside. He scouted around the perimeter. He counted zero zombies outside. He didn't see any zombies inside. Okay. No one's here. It is completely unsecured. So, what is Todd going to do then? Hmm. I don't know what we what we're supposed to do now. Oh, he's probably he hasn't investigated. Okay, he hasn't finished investigating yet. Right. He spent an hour walking to and then walking around the house. So let's go forward again, I guess. Todd returned from his recon at the house. Okay, yeah. that was a lot of wasted time. Well, because we didn't go in. <laughs> So instead of just investigating, so. <laughs> breaching, that's what we want to do. He will actually go into the house and kill zombies. Or just look at it and walk home. That's what he did. We literally ordered him to look at the house and walk home. Oops. <laughs> 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 or we can assault the house, which involves walking up, shooting any zombies, and then going home. Let's breach it. Let's yeah. get in there and actually look at the place yep. this time. I think so. <laughs> Did we actually put, like, did we arm ourselves? Yes, we're still carrying the gun, I believe. Uh, let's find out. Let's make sure about that, I guess. Yeah, because just walk in and be like, oh, no, we no. are carrying nothing. Okay, crowbar. <laughs> because Last we're time. awesome, and we're going to be, like, total <laughs> badasses. Just yes. Punch, punch zombies directly into the teeth. Yes, that is the best plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bite this. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a zombie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, going to uh, investigate now. Oh, hello. Hi, Carl. <laughs> He's a young surgeon named Carl Sanchez. Uh, another survivor has approached Todd. He has a concussion. Despite that, he looks experienced and stable. He has two cooking ingredients, a small meal, and three snacks. Todd cannot see a reason not to partner up with him. Well, apparently his last name is not enough racism for Carl. Well, so yeah, we're okay for... For Todd, so why don't we take Carl as a buddy? Yeah, he's just in that gray area of racism. Because he look he looks American. He does. Enough, he I does. Guess. He looks American. Yeah. <clears throat> he, the Sanchez is five generations back, I guess. Maybe, <laughs> maybe European, Spanish, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a surgeon, and we want a medical guy, so we'll accept the buddy. We'll accept our new buddy. <laughs> Hear that? I did. It sounded like he broke in. <laughs> Oopsies. We did tell him to, I guess. Yeah. Uh, now we have Carl S. 
Okay, Todd approached the house with the intention of breaking in. He had to spend some time trying to find a way in, increasing the risk of a confrontation. He headed to a small second-story window leading to the first bathroom. Why didn't he just crowbar the front door? I don't know. That's why I gave him the crowbar! Right? But there were no zombies inside the first bathroom. The whole location is silent. It didn't look like there were any zombies outside the house. He found a snack. There's only one shower in the house. And that's where we discovered Carl. Okay. He was in the shower? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> well, he approached us, though, it said. Okay. So maybe we were in the shower. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Just as long as someone was naked, I'm okay. <laughs> but he was carrying some food, so that's nice. In the shower. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, he was a surgeon. He's 27, straight, and has a university education and comes from a poor background. Huh. He's experienced, stable, inquisitive, and investigative. And he's most useful with treating injuries, collecting ingredients, cleaning up corpses, creating a distraction, modifying items, and producing ammunition. Apparently, he has no stealth, because he's really good at being loud. Yeah. He claims he isn't racist, he just doesn't like the look of some people. That's why he likes Todd so much. There you go. <laughs> because they just they can be they can be vaguely racist together. And uh, his history, we don't we don't want him. We don't want to spread a new rumor about him, I don't think, do we? No. Okay. Why would we want to do that? It seems like they're friendly enough, though. Plus, who do you spread the rumor to? It's just like, you know, hey, Carl, you know that you're like... <laughs> Did you know that your name is Carl? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, so this house is where we started here. Carl, do you know that slut Carl totally was making out with that sl the other slut Carl? <laughs> That bastard. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have them search this house. Because it's only 62% searched. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to have... Let's see. Todd search the place. And what is Carl going to do? What do I want to have Carl do? Um, watch for zombies? He has a concussion, so he probably... I, I, maybe. Probably a good idea. Just some light work, because I... Yeah, just to watch zombies, just in case. Yeah. Just in case zombies show up. Yeah. He has cooking stuff. You can make, make, well, you don't, You definitely want somebody watching your back when you're roaming around the house. Yeah. In zombie apocalypse. Just in case. Okay, we advance time another hour. Todd found six cooking ingredients and nine snacks in the kitchen. A cooking ingredient, a snack, and a sponge in the kitchen. Todd has now searched half the house. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, Todd found a carving knife, cooking ingredient, and a snack in the kitchen. Uh, I guess they're just going to keep searching. Why don't we just keep searching until we finish searching the whole house? Yeah, totally. We can, we can stand to spend a few hours here. Next page. Okay, we found a bloody hammer? <laughs> nice. That's okay. the best kind of hammer. Uh, we also found a golf club, a pair of brass knuckles, 14 quarrels, and a screwdriver? Who were these people? Carl? 